I was born in Iran, Tehran, and we moved to America in 1977. Coming to a new country, new language, and also starting a new high school uh, in Paramus, it was very, very challenging. Believe it or not, at one time I was very shy and quiet, but uh, that soon as I learned the language, that went away. Yeah, wrestling was for me to get a scholarship. My junior year and senior year in Paramus High School, only wrestling two years, uh, not too many offers or scholarship, but uh, Fairleigh Dickinson University, which was a division one in Teaneck, New Jersey, gave me partial scholarship and I wrestled for FDU uh, for two years and I transferred from FDU to Cleveland State. Cleveland State had no heavyweights and was forfeiting and they offered me a full scholarship and in 1984 um, I graduated and I moved out of the dorms with a U-Haul, moved back home, and I was looking for work. I got a phone call from Dan Gable and said to me, what are you doing? And I said, I'm working and getting ready to start my career after college. And he says, well, we will need you at Big Bear Lake Olympic training camp. And I said, well, the first alternate and second alternates are there with Baumgartner. And he said, well, Baumgartner hurt the first alternate and second alternate went home and no one wants to wrestle Bruce. You had good battles with him and you frustrated him. You make things happen to come up here. He was a good training camp and I got the five ring fever. I believe that if I could get close to Bruce, I can do well internationally. And at heavyweight, I was always top three. Really, there was no opening to make the team. I knew I could win medals if I make the team. So I started wrestling Greco-Roman in 1988 after Pensacola Olympic trials where Dan Chandler and I sat down and talked and he thought I could be a world medalist. I just was trying to improve my position by making a national team and training to make the team. But in 1990, uh, going to the world championships and winning nationals uh, and taking second in freestyle to Bruce and Pan Am's success came real quick and I was winning and competing with the Olympic champions and world champions and beating them and I was hanging with Corellan in many battles to the end so it was uh, like uh, success feeds success. The more I won, the, the more I wanted to do it. When he came to Phoenix, he had really limited skills. And none of us knew, thought that he could do what he eventually accomplished. He did that through hard, hard work. No one worked as hard as Matt Kafari, And it can prove that the more you work, the better you do get. The important was that in 91 I got introduced to Anatoly Petrosian. Anything what I, I showed him, he, he just, uh, he just catch, he just uh, uh, follow my, my old techniques, especially parter position, his defense on the feet position, on the hook position, and he was very disciplined. In 91, I was a world silver medalist going to Olympics. Winning the medal was the only thing that motivated me. And when I made the team, I was, I remember that night, I started training. And uh, my coach was telling me to enjoy being Olympian. And I said my goal wasn't being Olympian. And I got injured in France before opening ceremony and I hardly could march in opening ceremony and I lost to Olympic bronze and silver medalist and really broke my heart. Matt Gaffari as an athlete was tremendous. He's one of the hardest working athletes, heavyweights that we've had in our program. Um, obviously he won four uh, world slash Olympic medals. He was a silver medalist in the Olympics. Uh, Karelin 
uh, for a few years was the only guy beating him worldwide. And um, he really did set the tone uh, for our Greco-Roman program to improve during that period of time. 34-year-old Matt Gafari is a heavyweight's heavyweight. He accepted with relish his gold medal challenge last night from the unbeatable, stone-hard Siberian Alexander Karelin. Like his U.S. teammates, this was for country and family, and his support group of 15 included his parents, wife, and two-and-a-half-year-old daughter. He lost, barely, in overtime, one nothing. The silver was his. An Olympic medal winner, but a loser to the man he always beats in his dreams. Gafari's father fled Iran 19 years ago to take his children out of harm's way. Last night, his son said thank you the best way he knew how. Ninety-two was like the funeral, and ninety-six was like the wedding, winning an Olympic medal. Life is just like Olympic rings. Every ring is equal. Uh, every opportunity to be a good father, being a good husband, good coach, good community member, good businessman, good student. You try to be a champion in every area. Uh, Amy and I met at the first week at Cleveland State in 1981. Uh, we got married in 1986. We have four beautiful children. And uh, she was my first sponsor besides my mom and dad. She worked and I wrestled. Um, it was important that uh, it was part of uh, our history that the medal belongs to the family. This is uh, one of the happiest moments in my life just to get recognized by the peers. Um, I was a late bloomer. I didn't wrestle, start wrestling to my junior year, but I had the desire and perseverance to work hard and have success in my sport. 